It is January of 2021, and as you can tell by my backyard here, it's winter time here in Salt Lake City, Utah. But we've got our second stimulus check burning a hole in our pockets, so bear with me while I do a little YouTuber thing. Here's Salt Lake City. And here is the U.S. Virgin Islands. It is beautiful. We're at the Charlotte Amalie Overlook. We got here last night and uh, we're doing a coronavirus budget trip. Uh, if you guys are tax paying citizens, you got $600 in December as a stimulus check. And so with our combined $1,200, we were able to afford the flight out here, which was we paid five hundred dollars. Pretty cheap. So that was using like two hundred dollars of our um, saved up points from our credit cards, and five hundred dollars for our hotel. We're staying in a very budget hotel, the Midtown Guest House. Um, it's it's great though. I mean, it's less than a hundred dollars a night, and it's right in the downtown area of Charlotte Amalie, and it, perfect the location. Beds, yeah, like the the beds perfect it's just a little old it's not gonna be like a resort or anything. it's got the bare necessities yeah um, and we're spending money in other ways transportation is expensive once yeah. you're here food is expensive uh, so we'll probably end up spending like two thousand dollars in total but still twelve hundred of that is the stimulus check so not telling you what you should do with your twelve hundred dollars or six hundred dollars but this is one thing you could do. And the weather is amazing. It feels great here. Here is a beautiful view of Megan's Bay Beach right there from Drake's Seat. A fantasy tropical botanical garden. Ooh, pretty. Man, we had to hike here because uh, our taxi driver dropped us off at the wrong spot. We thought we were going to start at the top and walk down, but we hiked up here from the uh, Charlotte Amalie Overlook. mountain to the top and got one of the famous banana daiquiris without the rum. How is it, Melissa? It's really good. I wouldn't choose banana um, initially, but it actually tastes really good. So. Awesome. Is it as good as this view? Yeah, I think so. Or is it just the combination of both that's amazing? It's pretty amazing. I'm going to try some of that. Oh, that's so refreshing. Yes. After being so hot. Hiking up here. Oh boy, that's a big rum bottle. Enough to satisfy all these thirsty pirates. Hey, what are you looking at?
we have come to the beautiful Sapphire Beach on the east side of St. Thomas. Oh, take a look. It's gorgeous blue water. Of course, islands as far as the eye can see. British Virgin Islands, American Virgin Islands, whatever. And the snorkeling is fantastic. So let's take a look underwater. historic 99 steps. I guess we're gonna have to find out if there's really 99 of them. You're gonna count? I mean, why not? Oh my gosh. Hundred ten, hundred eleven. Whoa. I counted a hundred and eleven. I may be off by like one or two because I stopped to look at a lizard. <laughs> but definitely over 99, that's for sure. Whew. Check this out. Here's 99 more steps of St. Thomas Harbor. Formerly run by pirates. Now it's our vacation land. Today we've come to Coral World at Koki Beach, Koki Point, right next to Koki Beach. <laughs> so you have Cecil there. This is Cecil? Yep, and that's his um, mate, Yellow Pants. So that's oh. why he came over and is trying to be close. And they're going to be together. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Wow, what a name. And there it is in person. 
I touched the donkey dung. This is pretty sweet. It's kind of like going snorkeling without getting wet. What do you think, Melissa? Was it a good use of money to come to Coral World? I think so. I think it'd be even better not during COVID and not during a rainy day. Yeah. Still, it's nice to have shelter during the rain. That's true. This is probably the best thing we could be doing with the rain. The coolest part was feeding the Laura Keats just because it was so interactive. Cokie Beach! We went for a swim because the waters are just a little rough. We tried snorkeling and that didn't go over so well. Look how big some of these waves are. Whoa! What even is this? Yeah, we might need to try a different beach. Koki Beach just turned out a little too rough. Where are we at now, Melissa? Secret Harbor. Secret Harbor Beach. It looks like a beauty. Looks like we are calm water, just like we needed for snorkeling. And the temperature is just lovely right now. My gosh. <laughs> see here is Fort Christian built by the Danish in the 1600s I don't know when that day will come, but I 
Wow, they weren't very tall. Yeah, my head touches the top of this. I mean, by Scandinavian standards, they weren't very tall 400 years ago. <laughs> Melissa still fits. Yeah. We're just waiting here in town this morning before heading to the airport. And I thought we should share a few things we learned. It would be good to know before your trip to St. Thomas. So, where to begin, Melissa? You need cash. Yeah, you need cash. How much? We took out, I think, around $300 for taxis because they only take cash. Um, logistically speaking, this is not a cheap or very affordable place to vacation. Um, everything is imported and the food's expensive. The places to stay are expensive. Gas is expensive. Rental cars are expensive, taxis are expensive. Yeah, we probably spent close to $100 a day on taxis, depending on what we were doing. Yeah. Um, and then probably $100 on food a day. Uh, we tried to eat out no more than twice a day and just live off of snacks in between. We got like a little bit of fruit from the grocery store. Um, so we didn't go hungry by any means. It was, no. it was still expensive, just having two meals, tops. And what our expensive is, maybe not your expensive. That's an important thing to know. Compared to most of the United States. Yeah, if you're expecting the United States when you get here because it is a territory of the United States, well, it's a bit different. Yeah. I feel like Canada is more like the United States than the US Virgin Islands is. They have a distinct culture here. Uh, they drive on the left side of the road. Things are touristy, pricey. They have pretty um, thick accents. Thick accents, it can be hard to understand the locals. Yeah. Uh, they have their own kind of dialect that they speak to each other that's almost um, unintelligible to my ear, but uh, they do know how to speak English to, you know, white folks like us. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they're super friendly. I left my phone on a taxi and the guy who found it helped me get it back. Mm -hmm. It took like all day to finally meet up with him, but super nice of him. He was really willing to do it and didn't expect anything in return. Um, the locals here are knowledgeable and happy to help you figure things yeah. out. Mm -hmm. uh, talk to your taxi drivers especially, they'll help you figure out what's a good beach to go to. Mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, Tell them about the public taxis versus the normal taxis. Sure. Um, this is something that we picked up probably the second day that we were here. There's a thing called safari taxis where you can get pretty far. Like we got from Charlotte Amali to Red Hook for uh, $4, both of us. Right. It's $2 to person. ride, maybe $1 if you're just going somewhere in town. Pretty short, yeah. But um, in comparison to $20, if you take a taxi, whether that's a safari taxi that looks like a safari taxi, a public taxi, or um, a van, you'll see lots of taxi vans around. So it's yeah. more cost effective usually to take a safari taxi and you'll ride with the locals. Yeah. I would say uh, another option to consider is renting a car. Mm -hmm. um, it's usually about $85 a day minimum. And uh, the nice thing about that is it gives you the flexibility to explore on your own terms. So you could probably see more that way. Um, it's hard if you're staying on St. Thomas and you want to see St. John. It's going to be $50 to take your car on the car ferry, uh, which you can do. Um, but unless you're staying on St. John, you probably don't want to rent a car when you get over there because it's not really going to work out unless you're there for like more than a day. Yeah, a lot of the rental companies won't even rent to you um, on St. John if you're not going to stay more than a day. Yeah. What else did we learn? I learned on the internet that it's 
Charlotte Amalia, not Charlotte Amali. Um, either one is acceptable. I've heard both from locals. Yeah. We had a nice time. We'll come again someday, I hope. Mm -hmm. There's more we didn't see. We didn't see Water Island, which is just a quick taxi ride across the harbor here. Uh, we didn't see St. Croix, of course, which is further, a bit harder to get to, like $100 for the taxi, or the water taxi. And that's the biggest of the three major Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands. Um, they have more old Danish forts there you can check out. Yep. They have the easternmost point in the USA. Mm -hmm. So there's plenty more to see, but three or four days is a decent amount to see a lot of the main stuff on St. Thomas and St. John. Yep. And we still have four hours to kill before our flight. So, we've found Emerald Beach Resort right next to the airport where we can chill and hang and enjoy ourselves. Yeah, they actually recommend on Google to come here on a weekday because it's dead and that is accurate. There's, I don't think there's anyone else on this beach. <laughs>